Mamobi is a community located in the Accra Metropolitan Assembly area and also in the Ayawasu North and East constituencies. It is a densely populated area with an estimated population of over 50,000 inhabitants who are predominantly Muslims. Group 29 research team of the African University College of Communications AECC, critically examined the causes of poor environmental sanitation conditions in Mamobi, their effects on the health of the people and to offer interventions that could help ensure good environmental sanitation in Mamobi. The community is faced with several environmental sanitation challenges, such as indiscriminate disposal of waste by residents and open defecation. The practice of indiscriminate disposal of waste by residents has impacted negatively on the community. This poor sanitation condition practices is rampant amongst residents living along the big open drain in the community. The 1.2 km open drain, known by locals as Gata, which runs through the entire Nima Mamobi community is the main drainage of waste water and storm water out of both Nima and Mamobi. This unconstructed open drain is not maintained and is engulfed with filth as some Castletrans residents dump both solid and liquid waste into it. As a result of this, the area is usually flooded when there is a downpour and lives and properties are lost. The poor sanitary condition of the drain is a breeding ground for mosquitoes and other disease causing parasites. This has led to the high rate of recorded malaria cases in the area. The community is usually affected greatly when there is an outbreak of an epidemic disease, especially cholera. Some residents do not seem bothered about good environmental sanitation practices and continuously litter indiscriminately without considering the future repercussions of their actions on their health. Lack of proper waste management system in the area has made the drain an option for waste disposal in the community. Alhaji Razak Nuhu, the assembly member for Mamobi East, speaks about the poor sanitation conditions in Mamobi and his unsuccessful attempt to help him curb this problem. <laughs> And then currently, the time I saw it, I'm um, playing at it, but it's not stopping. So, in the morning, the morning around 3 or 4, people can't go at it. He also revealed the effort put in place by the stakeholders in the community in finding a lasting solution to this environmental problem. Most of the houses in Mamobi do not have toilets and this put pressure on the few public toilet facilities in the community. You usually find residents in long queues to assess these public toilet facilities. Some of these toilet facilities are in deplorable state and dirty, that some residents resort to open defecation in the drain. A youth leader in the community, Sadiq Muntari, speaks passionately about the poor state of the drain which has affected the community badly. That caterpillar that we were here, they brought, they said that they are coming to do the gutter for us. This is what they came and caused. Mm. So now you can see clearly that this public toilet is hanging. It How long are you going to continue fooling us? How long? The MP and our government. This data is here for a long time. We continue voting for you. What is going on? You can see what we are talking about here. You can see what we mean. Look at this toilet. It's hanging. Formerly, it was not like this. We were here. They brought caterpillar that they are coming to do the gutter for us. Look at what they came and did. Now this toilet is hanging. It's a dark trap. We don't have any place to use ourselves. Hygia Memuna. A resident of Mamobi expresses her displeasure about the attitude of the Member of Parliament for the area, Dr. Mustafa Ahmed, in ensuring that the open drain is constructed. Mustafa, you promised us of constructing the open drain, which is the main cause of sanitation problem in our area. We have been in this situation for several years. The whole community is engulfed with filth. Look at the way the people in Mamobi are affected when there is an outbreak of an epidemic disease. When it's election time, we see him making promises of constructing the drainage. 
We are tired of all these unfulfilled promises. The residents have refused to register with the ABC Waste Management Limited, which is in charge of waste collection in Mamobi. Residents who patronize the communal waste service pay for garbage disposal according to the size of their waste container. It usually ranges from 50 pesos to 5 CDs. We spoke to Yakubu Muhammad, a representative of ABC Waste Management Limited in charge of the communal central waste collection site in Kaukudi in Mamobi. <laughs> Some of the residents have refused to dump their waste into communal central waste bin, but rather prefer dumping their waste into an open drain. Despite the availability of several communal waste collection bin, some residents result in dumping their refuse on the ground around the communal disposal waste bin. Some also sneak at night and dump their solid waste at unauthorized places because they do not want to pay as little as 50 pesos for dumping their solid waste into the communal waste containers. Alhaji Abdul Karim, a resident of Mamobi 15 Bob, speaks about the poor attitude of some of the residents in ensuring good sanitation in Mamobi. Ironically, during our interview with Alhaji Abdul Karim, a resident was caught on camera coming out of the open drain after defecating in it. If you advise them, they, do, they won't mind you. Midnight, they will, be, they will be inside the gutter, shitting. I don't know why. You talk to them, they don't, you see, some of them coming out, you see. We talk to them, don't understand. I don't know why. We have about three toilets in our area. We don't go, the, the way we don't we, we, we behave. I don't understand. I'm now 49 years in Mamobi here. That's the, our attitude. A resident of Kaukudi in Mamobi, Alban Adoku, admits that some of the residents are also responsible for this environmental crisis in Mamobi. Look at this rubbish container. It's there, but people carry it. They collect money from others and then they dump it in the gutter, which is bad. Talk the about. government have nothing to do because we, the community, have to wake up and educate ourselves. Dr. Simpson Boatin, the director of the Metro Public Health Environmental Department of Accra Metropolitan Assembly, speaks about the poor sanitation conditions in Mamobi. I'm aware of the situation at Mamobi. Basically, people are dumping into the drain. They are also defecating into the drain. Yes. Um, what, what has happened is that you know, the residents over there are supposed to register with the accredited waste management contractor for that area. People are dumping because they have refused to register with their contractors and uh, you know AMA frowns on that you know a task force goes around ensuring that people register and those who have not registered the names are submitted to our department and we prosecute them so you see that on daily basis if you go to our sanitation board you see people they've been prosecuted for not registering with them you know, the accredited waste management contractors. Taboatin also speaks about the lack of access to domestic toilet facilities in Mamobi. The policy of the assembly is that every house must have its own toilet. So if there is a house you are aware of and there is no toilet, it means the, 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 the landlord has to be held responsible. You have to provide toilet facilities in your house for yourself and your work. Your, your, your so if you come to your house and you don't have it, we, we prosecute you. Listen. Public tourists are meant for people who are not residing in that area. But not understanding this, you know, policies, AMA is building a lot of public tourists. Dr. Boatin refuted the claims by some of the residents that they are not aware of the AMA's environmental sanitation bylaws. They can't hide behind this. Everybody in Accra is aware of the AMA bylaw. I'm telling you, you know, because we have drama at home. Look, we have our environmental health officers. We run, we spreading the news, you know. I mean, we have done a lot of this sensitization, education, about. we had nobody can say that he doesn't know about it. On our side, we are also going to ensure that we enforce the bylaws. Most of the health cases recorded at the Mamobi Polyclinic and other clinics in Mamobi are sanitation related diseases. 10,000 cases were recorded in 2015 in Mamobi according to data gathered from the Metro Environmental Public Health Department. Dr. Simpson Boatin advises the resident on the health implications of poor sanitation conditions. I want to tell the residents over there that they should cast their mind back to 2014 when we had that cholera outbreak, you know, which claimed 64 lives in the city of Accra. You know, and uh, it is all as a result of this behavior that is defecating into the you know the trees 
if they don't desist, if they don't stop this practice and there's another outbreak, it's going to save a lot of lives. So my advice to them is to desist from such a practice. They should use approved products and people should stop dumping into the trees. The study recommends that government speed up the embankment of the 1.2 kilometers open drain in Mamobi, which is a haven for people to engage in poor environmental sanitation practices. Based on the findings of the study, we conclude that the main cause of the poor environmental sanitation conditions experienced in Mamobi is attitudinal. Residents in Mamobi are not bothered about the effort put in place by stakeholders to ensure that Mamobi is clean. Sanitation regulations and law enforcement plays crucial role in ensuring good environmental sanitation condition. People need to change their attitudes towards environmental sanitation in Mamobi.